What's it called? Once again. Hello everyone, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be looking at a new mass transit DLC for City Skylines. So what this DLC brings in is, as its name suggests, loads of uh, transit options, so transportation, uh, public transportation especially. So we've gone over loads of transport in the past, we've gone over railways, undergrounds, bike routes, uh, what else have we gone through? We've gone over taxis, trams, buses, we've done it. So this adds a few more. So first off, we're going to do one of the coolest ones I think they've added. We're going to be looking at the monorail. So underneath the transportation icon, you have got the monorail, which is here. It looks like a little blue kind of, I don't know, square sort of thing. Okay. Inside here, you're given an option of four new stations. These consist of a monorail station. This one goes on the side of a road like any other building. Then you have a monorail station with road. This sits over the top of the, of the uh, road. But uh, please bear in mind that this doesn't replace a road. You place this down and then you build the road to join it. Um, we'll have a look at that in a sec, just so I explain it. Then you have a monorail bus hub. So this is a monorail station with a bus hub underneath it, effectively. Then you've got the metro monorail train hub. So what this does is this adds, just like the bus hub, it adds a monorail and a train on there as well. So you've got the monorail and the train together, so it's quite cool. And then you've got the options for the um, tracks. So you've got a monorail track, so this is one that doesn't have a road attached. Then you've got a one-way monorail track, a monorail track with two-lane road, then you've got a monorail track for four-lane road. Now what these do is these show different things. So I've already got a half set up here already. So we can see here this monorail station is one that sits on the side of a road. So this is this one, the monorail station. So it sits on the side of a road and just acts as if it was just a normal station. Then here I've just used the normal monorail track going along all the way here until we hit, until we hit here. And then I've swapped to the upgradable roads that have the monorail in the middle. Now, Bear in mind, these cannot be used in conjunction with the tram tracks, the bus routes, or the cycle lanes. These are completely independent. You can only have these. And all it creates is a two-lane road on either side, so it creates a four-lane highway, if you call it that. Then right next to it, you've got this monorail station. That is one that sits on top of the road. So you can see here that it just mirrors this piece of road where it's got two lanes on either side that go directly underneath it is really good because you can see that there are entrances on either side for people to get up in and to go on the monorail and then they've got a space and you can see that houses can go either side and I've got it all snaking through here's the small road right here and you can see that it's just got two, ro two lanes underneath it one in either direction with monorail over the top and I like this this look it makes it look very much like that New York-y kind of um, subway kind of look where it's got the uh, the trestles above the road which I really do like I like the look of that and then here we've got the same station with the road underneath now I've got a small gripe with this as you can see I said here it doesn't take up my object of room it fits nicely here it doesn't because th there's only one size of this it's it's always a two lane, so that means if you're using this track over a single road and then you have the monorail station, it then goes into a double, which just looks weird, it's like a little bulb in the middle thing, it just doesn't work real right, but other than that, this is a great thing. So, what I've got is this all goes across here, zigzags through the centre of my city, picking up the majority of the people from the centre districts of my city, then taking the cross country route all the way down to my industrial where we've got a splitting track now this is nothing special all I've done here is I've used that one-way track to be able to create it going one way and then returning back to the same point to create this special kind of Y shape so all I've done is I've used the single shape just going through and coming around and what I do like about these single tracks is 
it doesn't create like a annoying block when it gets to the station it creates this nice little kind of split track so in theory if you wanted like the RP kind of look you could argue that if there was a train in the station and one was coming up behind it it could use the other track that's not how SimCity, uh, sorry SimCity, City Skylines works so we are uh, so it always appears on the side that you've set the route on but you could argue in your head that it can go on the other side it looks really nice I do like that and then what I've got here is a single track then zigzags through my industrial area dropping off workers in various locations and picking up the people to go home and then joins back onto the main line to go back the route backwards. So what I'm going to do to show you how you build a monorail is I've got a small little district over here that I'm going to start building up to be a new kind of residential area. And what, what I want is I want the new mass transit DLCs to link with this location. So this will be a pure area just for use by the mass transit links okay so i'm going to have it come off of this tube on oh, the tube line this monorail line here so i'm going to have to bring out this i'm going to go into this mode uh, 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 go into this mode there we go have it go around here have it shoot directly can i go why can't i do that ah because it's moaning Ooh, funny. Had a funny error. That's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it just zigzag across for me. Seems to be a little bit finicky. There we go. We're getting there. And we're there. So we've got not too bad. That looks pretty good to me. Have it come down to the right sort of level like that. I'm going to have it come towards here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that once again where we've got this kind of single line I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to have probably let's say about three tube stations. So because I'm only going to be using these small little streets over here I don't want to upgrade them so that it has the huge large um, uh, ones with the uh, road underneath it because I feel that that will just dwarf the area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the one on the side. But let me just quickly show you this. So you know how I said you don't upgrade the road. So you can see that this sits lovingly on top of a road, but you can't place it because it says space already occupied. So what you got to do is you've got to then create an off bit, then you click and then you join up the road. So it's just a little bit annoying just when you've got a already built city and you've got to delete a whole area just to place in your new tubes, uh, not tube, your monorail station. But oh well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place around a couple of these here. And place you up there. And then place you, I say, let's place you over here. So we've just got three areas here. Go to a single track here. So I'm just going to go around rocks. And just to link up with it. That looks lovely, that does. And then this is just going to come around the outside, voiding the city limits. Probably going to have to cut through the power line, but that's no worries. We're going to go ahead this way, and then straight into this station. Then with this, just going to come this way. Just link up like that. So it looks got that nice little Y shape for me. And then let's link up some power. So we might have to do a bit of fun fun bits with the power. We'll take it up and over. Like that. Just so it takes it over the monorail, just like so. And then hopefully then once we get the uh, bits in place, we will be able to once the houses go in, all these will be powered. And and they'll be operational. But that's something we can look for in another video. But of course now these are in place. They aren't operational because they haven't got the power yet, but let's just for the time being create some 
power going to you, shall we? Okay, so we've got power to all of these. Okay, now we just need to connect the links. So what you do is you use this end tool, as we've used in the other ones, which is the line tool. Then we want to grab the return one in here. So we look at the arrows here. So we can see the arrows going along. And we can see that it goes on the left and comes on back on the right. So we grab the one on that right hand side, drag it all the way to this first one. And then we can see that because it's a one way line, it has to do this loop to do it. So it makes the next ones nice and easy to do. Click in there, drag and click into the last one. And that extends the line. But of course, it's removed this last station. So what we're going to do, drag it, just place it into here. Which is lovely. There we go. So we can see now, here's the monorail and it's stationed by the river and hopefully, yep, here we go so for some reason that didn't stop but that's okay, hopefully the next one will goes across the river gets overtaken by the train underneath the power lines goes left at the fork comes into the first monorail station on Amity Street One person has got off for some reason. And it goes on round and stops at the one on Web Street. Once it's finished one on Web Street, it goes round onto the second one on Amity or the third one, which is also on Amity Street just like so. And then from there it then continues back across the river to do its back loop all the way continuing through and to the industrial park just over back here. So that's been my quick guide and look at the brand new mass transit monorails. If this has been helpful for you guys and a quick insight into your cities and you think this can really help you hit that like button. Also if you feel that potentially any of my other videos which you can go and watch will be helpful to you hit the subscribe button and you'll be the first person to know when I do a new one and yeah so I've been Scully from the Blue Coconut Family I wish you a very good day and I'll see you on the next video bye guys